Welcome to the hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you? What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. Okay, I wanted you to see this. It's Naomi Hurst. She's 36 years old. In case you want to go on the YouTube thing, it's already did this story now. It says transgender woman Naomi Hurst, 36 year old, murdered in London Hotel. Now, I did this story back in, um, let me see, where is it? Did it last year. Okay. It was published April the 1st, 2018. So, in case you want to get more information, like what, what happened more so, you click on this video and you get all the information you need. And here is the name. It's transgender woman Naomi Hershey. I'm going to put it down at the bottom just in case you want to read track it. Okay? Okay, this is about Naomi Hershey. I'm going to give you the updated reference to her. The web of lies that sneered university drop out for murder of transgender woman. Now, this story is being reported as of um, May the 26th, 2019. And I want to share this there with you. It says that Jesse McDowell had excelled at both school and in sports. A gifted tennis player, he was plays of injuries and eventually ended up the dream of turning professional. Now instead of focusing on essential education, McDonald from Sussex secured a place in London School Economics to read history. But on March the 18th last year, the 25-year-old brutally murdered a transgender woman, Naomi Hersey, in her hotel room. He stabbed her 11 times and she suffered 19 separate injuries in what the police have described as a forensic mindless attack. Now, the, the cold-blooded killer is now serving life behind bars and must remain locked up for 20 years. By 2014, McDonald had dropped out of the university. McDonald was looking for a fresh start and moved into Annex Hotel right at the end of the, um, the flight path to Heathrow. Now, rather to then Rather than find a um, conventional job, he turned to the dark web to make his money. Now, McDonald set up a sophistic, sophisticated drug dealing business, which included spreadsheets and menus for customers. Now, his whole life revolved around the internet, and he met a, he met his girlfriend, who's 17 year old named um, Natalie, which I'm not gonna put a picture on this site because she's too young, on a dating app. She was said to be spellbound by her older boyfriend so much that she would risk everything to help him cover up a murder and an innocent victim. Now, the first, the first thinking of the police had that something was very wrong with this chilling phone call from McDonald is aftermath of the killing. In it, he says, I have had a very long week and I didn't mean to kill anyone. Then he says that he refused to explain and instead promised to call back. Several hours later, police received a second phone call for the manager at the hotel where McDonald was staying, insisting he had been told um, he had been told his tenant had um, clearly killed someone. Searching the room, officers found Naomi's body. She had been dead for some time. Police unable to track McDonald's phone and um, managed to track Natalie's and arrest the couple in a hotel in Teddington. From the second he arrested McDonald, insisted he acted on only self-defense. Now, the dropout had been returned from spending the weekend with his girlfriend in Wisher, where he claims after three hours of sex session, he drove back to his home in the hotel just 40 minutes after arriving back to the log and to the swingers website where he says he was looking for some edgy kinky sex mcdonald then makes the hours to drive to naomi's home in west northwest london and there is where 
his web of lies began. First he claimed he was offered a drink, which he says that was spiked with the date rate drug GHP and then performed a sex act on Naomi. Officers carried out um, tox toxicology toxicology tests, which proved there was no date rate drug in his system. He says he woke up with Naomi. He woke up on Naomi's sofa, wrapped in a um, dove. I guess that's the blanket. Before she offered him crystal meth, something he insisted he has never taken before. Guess again, test proof. He has in fact been using his drug for at least four months. McDonald then insisted he was held in Naomi's flat against his will for two days, which where he was um he was raped and forced to take drug he tells the police i feel like i i feel like it was something to do with the drugs i became a victim and sh and shadow myself i found i was bound and raped but the police obtained cctv showing that the two out shopping not once does mcdonald attempt to raise the alarm on the fleet of person who's supposed to be holding him capturing see the pictures Finally, McDonald says Naomi demanded money for drugs and he taken he has taken and he agreed to drive her to his home to pay her eighty dollars and then drive her back. CCTV again shows the pair arriving with McDonald's moving around freely and even making them both drinks. <sighs> but he tells police in an interview that he was unable to get Naomi to leave and was still in her power and meanwhile this teenage girlfriend was desperately trying to touch him and sending him repeated texts now she replies and rushed to the hotel before excuse me he replied and rushed to the hotel before being captured going back out to buy um some cleaning products the couple remained inside of this inside for several hours before re-emerging driving off at mcdonald's bmw the scene they leave behind is disastrous blood is smeared across the walls naomi hairboard is on the floor while her jacket is on the bed angela senior crown prosecutor said i wouldn't it wouldn't be a speculation to say that they had that they have given up after a few hours because that's what exactly what it has has done they had left black bin bags flew with blood stains items and flew the premises while natalie refused to answer any questions when the police interviewed mcdonald is very forthcoming with his story about being kept against his will he then tells officers that he acted only in self-defense he claimed that naomi suddenly attacked him mcdonald says he told he told me he wanted to face off. So now he called Naomi a he now. But I didn't expect him to go for 0 to 100. And that's what happened. He claimed that the pair started fighting. And he grabbed the beer bottle and smashed it into Naomi's face in self-defense. However, he said that it was made. It was. It was. Excuse me. However, he said it was made her more angry. It made her more angry and fight. Ended in the bathroom where he started stabbing her. McDonald says, I remember the glass going through her neck. <sighs> but she went for me. We were tussing around in the room. Then when I stabbed her, I was surprised because I had no it had no effect. As little if any, it seemed to make her angry. But it was but it was his this um description of Naomi's body as carcass that made the police concern he was lying he claims he was he claims he was um disproved Naomi had virtually virtually no defense um, injuries and neither did McDonald. Some of the knife wounds in the chest were non-cellular disease. Detective Tom from the Met, Poli Met Police said there was a lot of violence. There was no way it was self-defense. Police now have enough charge, have enough to charge McDonald with the murder of um, Natalie with manslaughter. During the um, death trial, Naomi's sister Amina is horrified about 
how they behaved in court. She said she had to sit and watch them in the deck. Every day he was every day every day he was smirking and playing with his girlfriend's hair. They were cuddling. The jury said that McDonald lies and convicting him of murder. Convicted him of murder. He was jailed for life and must do twenty years behind bars. Natalie was convinced in preventing the cause of in, excuse me cause of justice and given a suspension license of 150 hours of community service for the family of Naomi family their grief still goes on the body in the bathroom the murder of Naomi Hersey <sighs> okay so as you see the man was crazy not only he killed her he could host the whole thing that he was a kidnapped victim. He felt in self-defense. And at the time he said he was being kidnapped, they got pictures of him and Naomi in the store coming out. He also got pictures of him going to get us some coffee. And they sitting around in the lounge. And all the time, she's thinking she met a friend and she met a killer. And this is the thing that gets me. The wounds on his face, I don't know where this from. The cops beating on him or Naomi fighting for a life. But they said it was no nothing like no battle wounds on her. So my thing is he snuck her. She didn't know what's coming. I don't know how he got the scars on his face. That's questionable to me. Because if the reports are accurate, basically they state that he, she, she was snuck. Now maybe she scratched his face or something but they didn't say that so i'm speculating i don't know why his face is scarred up i don't know if she fought back or the police took him in and they beat him i don't know and he got in prison they beat him but it didn't indicate that she fought back it just basically he sucked stuck nonsense let me the basic knife into her and he watched her as it cut stabbed her in the neck Some of the knife wounds to the chest and nine centimeter deep. So he stabbed in his chest. Doing a trial, Naomi says to help. Naomi had virtually no defense injuries. And neither did McDonald. She snuck her. She had no defense injuries, so he snuck her. He snuck her. He said he beat her, he fought her back, didn't show that. Everything he said was all lies. Now it's the drugs. I've heard that before, but guys tell me that too. In fact, one of them on YouTube said he wanted to kill me. He said he was on drugs. You know, this is the thing. Just be careful out there, people. This is just so overwhelming for me. And it's crazy. And thank you for sending me this story. I'll let y'all be this I'll let y'all be the voice for this beautiful woman murdered. You know, this is just an update on Naomi Hershey. Thirty six years old. Um I'll let y'all be the voice and share this video guys. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Share this video guys. Share this video and please comment. I would love to hear you feel about this. Naomi, rest in peace, my sister, rest in peace in the family. You are in my prayers. Like I said before, at the top of this Instagram button, you follow me, I'll follow back. Comment below, let me know how you feel about this. Come to find out this man and did all this stuff. How do you feel about this? I'm exhausted, so I need y'all to be the voice. And share this video every way you can. I love you guys. Have a safe day, and please be safe out there. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. I love you, and thank you for watching. Catch the rain.